Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Wall Tutorials, I'm Koichi GZ, and in this video we are going to go over the new Exalted Battlemaster. So uh, after completing the Darm Quest, you actually do get the uh, Exalted version of the Battlemaster. So you can actually find uh, some information about that right over here. So uh, going to the uh, class change and going into details, you're going to actually have some of the Darm buffs right here. So um, for the Darm buffs that you actually do get for the Battlemaster, you're going to get uh, party skills. So one of these party skills, or actually there are going to be two of them, uh, one is going to be uh, all party members get plus 2% to their uh, critical hit rate, and then also plus 2% to their spell crit rate. Uh, the only thing about this is that this particular effect does not stack onto other uh, similar effects. So for example, if you have a effect that actually does maybe, let's say 3% uh, to critical hit rate, then it's not going to be plus five. It's probably going to be the max one, so the plus three. So uh, be careful of that, though I don't know of any other skills that are like that. Then also you're going to have the new uh, Exalted Battlemaster skill. So that's going to be Battle Demon uh, Release. Um, so I will go over that in a bit. Um, so in terms of the Darm uh, actual trials, so it's going to be four different trials that you have to go over with your Battlemaster. So this particular Battlemaster right here. So the four trials are going to be first is to use or go into a rage ten times. That's the first one. The second one is going to be defeat 200 enemies. The third one is going to be uh, defeat or clear uh, 10 Hokura without uh, having any uh, your Battlemaster uh, not being able to attack. So things like uh, status effects such as uh, knockdown, um, dying, or even paralysis, um, that would all affect that. So if you don't have that happen on your Battlemaster, you actually get points for that to clear. And then the last one is you have to take 15,000 steps. So um, that's actually uh, not so bad. So uh, here you get the actual Battlemaster right here. So this is, um, uh, in terms of the new gear, I only have gotten the headpiece. Um, compared to the uh, previous one, uh, this one right here, you're going to see that it's pretty much the same exact stat, uh, plus 52 to defense. Uh, the only difference here is that um, in terms of Gita uh, damage, uh, the one that I have on right now, so the Raging Head, uh, that's actually going to give me plus 6% to Gita weapon and physical technique damage, while um, the uh, Midsummer Arena's hat is actually just going to give me 4%. It's not that much of a difference. Uh, though actually with the Arena hat, if you if it's sunny outside, you do get plus 2% to that. So um, it actually does somewhat match in terms of scores, but uh, only if it's sunny outside. So right now it's evening, so it wouldn't work. So uh, other than that, um, I want to actually show you uh, something else. Uh, actually, real quick, you're going to see back here with the Battlemaster and going into the actual details right here. So the class skill, this one right here, has actually changed. So before it was Okori, which was Rage. Now it's going to be Gekido. So Gekido pretty much means Fury. So it pretty much does the exact same thing. So at the start of your turn, you sometimes have the chance of uh, increasing your weapon, physical technique, and breath damage. Uh, that was for Rage, but in this case, uh, for Fury, it, that's actually going to be increased even a little bit more. So uh, you'll actually see uh, what it looks like uh, in battle. So that's what actually I'm going to do right now. So, uh, let's see, what can I find? Okay, right here. Alright, so, uh, with this, I'm actually gonna go to my Battlemaster. Master. 
So in this case, I did not go into uh, Fury, but I can show you the new skill of the Battlemaster. So I mentioned to you before, that's going to be this one right here. So that's going to be uh, Battle Demon release. So um, this, uh, the MP for this actually varies depending on how much overall MP you have. But pretty much what it does is that um, the Battlemaster's weapon and physical de damage are raised. Uh, but the uh, healing effects, um, the effectiveness of the healing effects that come onto you actually go down. And also when you're in this particular uh, mode, you will not be a, the Battlemaster does not pay attention to orders. It pretty much does its own thing. So uh, I'm actually going to do that. So you're going to see the Battlemaster just do her own thing. So there, did 5,800 damage or so. So my Battlemaster will go next. So maybe we might see Fury right there. So that was Fury. Um, so a big difference between Fury and uh, Rage. Uh, Rage had pretty much the yellow energy, but uh, Fury has um, uh, red energy. And then you can see the mark for Rage. It has two little like blood <laughs> blood vessel popping marks that are actually red. So that's actually the big difference. So that's pretty much uh, what the Exalted Battlemaster is all about. Okay, so uh, pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of the Exalted Battlemaster. It's not a whole lot um, of changes, just a little bit. But uh, you saw from there those two main things. So uh, the new class skill, so Fury. So you saw like um, the red uh, kind of energy, kind of like almost like uh, going Super Saiyan. But um, in this case, yeah, when you're also, you also saw the... Uh, uh, Battle Demon uh, release, which uh, pretty much is actually good. Um, I'd say it's good if you if you're not really too worried about a strategy that includes your Battle Master, then maybe that's going to be fine. But if you're interested in doing something else or having a specific strategy, then perhaps maybe you won't use that. But uh, this it can be very helpful in certain battles. Um, but I will be using this uh, in my video against uh, Rhydon. So um, I didn't do a Rhydon video, or I'm not going to do a regular Rhydon video. I'm actually just going to go straight for the uh, difficult quest, the high difficulty quest for that. So uh, please stay tuned for that. So I'm going to end this video here. So uh, it's a short video, uh, sorry about that. But um, I will be doing uh, some other stuff as well. Uh, coming soon. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like if you'd like to see more Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video